So this question is specifically designed to be very difficult. On the actual exam, you'd never get a question this hard, but I want to just make sure that uh, when you're thinking about questions, you're inferring uh, the answer and, and trying to think that way. So when architecting for the cloud, AWS has a best practice called design for failure and nothing will fail. Which of the following would provide the greatest amount of fault tolerance? So this question is designed around this section of the architecting for the cloud best practices, and you can read through this and this will help you uh, figure out the correct answer. But when you see the word failure, you should immediately be thinking about fault tolerance, which I do make an additional call out to help you think about it, and failovers, okay? And so when we're talking about failovers, it's when you have a server and it fails for whatever reason, the data center uh, um, is experiencing issues or the entire region of all data centers in that region are experiencing issues. And so you need to fail over to another server in another availability zone in a region. So that's the key thing, availability zones and regions. So, and the question is asking you, which provides the greatest amount of fault tolerance, okay? And so this is the actual correct answer because having the ability to fail between AZs and regions is going to provide the greatest amount of fault tolerance. If you came to the second question here, you might think it's the answer because you'll be looking at this and going, oh, well, they're calling out very specific AWS services. And this question is very generic. It doesn't call out any services in particular. So, uh, so it might make you think that this is the correct answer, uh, but it's not because when you think about load balancers, load balancers can only distribute traffic between uh, availability zones and they can't go cross region. So um, for a failover strategy or to provide, um, uh, to make sure things don't fail, uh, across two AZs is, is very good, but really across regions is even more superior with in combination availability zones. So this answer is definitely better than the load balancer answer. Now, if you come down to CloudWatch events, if you were to read through this, you'd see that they actually call out to CloudWatch in here and they say it's a good tactic for implementing against designing against failure. And so CloudWatch, CloudWatch events can seem like the right answer if you read through here and you remember CloudWatch. Um, but I mean, uh, as the greatest, does it provide the greatest amount of fault tolerance? No, because if you use CloudWatch events to create scheduled backups of your instances or your EBSs, um, you know, if you have those backups, it doesn't mean they're readily available to fail over to their backups, right? You have to still launch instances. And so, um, it's definitely a component to a mitigating failure, but it's definitely not the greatest, doesn't provide you the greatest amount of fault tolerance. So we're coming back to this question, it's definitely the better one. Now, this one is definitely wrong, and the way you should be able to determine that is that we're talking about edge locations. And so when you think edge locations, you should be thinking immediately CloudFront. And what does CloudFront do? It's a CDN. It creates cache copies of static web pages that, they, that it serves up to edge locations. So those web pages that are static load really, really fast because those servers are nearby the users who are requesting those files. So since it says deploying your application, which implies that it's dynamic content, dynamic content with stat, uh, on edge locations makes no sense, right? And we know this is a dynamic application. We see it mentioned here. We see it mentioned here. You're, you're not going to have a static website and fail over. I mean, you can, but you wouldn't be setting up EC2 instances. So, um, Anyway, the point is, is that when you think edge locations, think uh, CloudFront and then think static content and see if the question's asking you about a static website. If it's an application, this definitely does, definitely does not make sense. So the answer is deploying an application across multi-availability zones and regions.